You're very welcome back. Well, Emmett O'Brien may be locked away in prison, or kind of. Yeah. His alter ego actor, Dahi Maxivna, is taking a new play around the country. Hero, written by Ken Rogan, tells the story of Dahi's character, Smithy, whose life becomes more complicated following a chance encounter with Marissa. Here's a wee preview of what you can expect. And we're chatting now. And it's good. Like, it's easy and... So I have this little jabber, nothing major. Well within established boundaries. And I can't even remember what it was now. But, like, she absolutely loses it. Gets really angry and... I've never seen this before. I know she's drunk and all, but still, this is getting pretty messy. So maybe we'll step outside for a bit, eh? Yeah? She's still in a snot. But you know what? I am cool as a marble statue. And I hail a cab, which screeches to a halt, because she's a knockout. And I open the door, and I lean in. And she freezes. And I kiss her on the cheek. And I guide her into the taxi, and I close the door from the outside, all in one smooth motion. And I point at her, and then at my phone, and I wave as the taxi pulls away. Because, I mean, taxi bowl on the side. I'm a nice guy. Now, there you are. Oh, Good morning to you, Dahi. <laughs> Good morning, Good morning thank you. That's, yeah. that's very moody and... It, it's, it is, yeah. That's a very clever idea to shoot a little expert, excerpt from it so mm. people get a flavour of the play. Tell it, us about the play. Flesh it out a bit for us. Uh, yeah, well, it's a great, it's a great little piece. It's a one-man show, obviously. Yeah. It's a monologue. It's a, just about an hour long. Um, so there's plenty, plenty in it. Uh, it's about Smithy, who um, meets the love of his life. Um, only she doesn't know it yet. Um, right. You've uh, yet to tell her. Yeah, yeah. and uh, kind of Smithy's, uh, he's, he's like a lot of men, a lot of people really, uh, he can't express his own emotions, can't put words to them, can't do, uh, can't do anything about them, can't really recognise them in himself. And uh, he kind of, because of this, he takes everything just a bit too far. Um, you know, he's constantly uh, beating people up on the, on the football field to try and you know, express something, um, yes. but it goes, uh, it goes just a bit, a touch too far, and he kind of starts to realise that perhaps. But the great thing with that clip that he is, and the way your performance in it, you can sense that from that clip that all is not right here, mm. can't you? Yeah, yeah. He's, there's kind of an underlying darkness yeah. to it. Is there, there? Is, there is a bit. There, I mean, there, there's always a little bit of a threat from from Smithy um, he, that he'd go off the handle at any moment. Um, but by the end of the play, you you kind of realise why that is. You realise that he's not quite right. He's just not right. He, um, he's not comfortable with himself. He's not comfortable in his life, what's happening with him. Um, and it's one of those things, I think, uh, you know, a lot of people kind of ask, you know, he's a 20-something year old who plays football and he's into scoring women. Like, um, there's actually, there's a lot to recognise in, in everybody in, in, in Smithy, yeah. you know, um, just wanting to be loved. He wants something to hold on to. He wants something yeah. to hold on to him um, and just doesn't know how to say that. Yeah, doesn't know how to articulate it mm. and doesn't know what he feels himself, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Like so many people at that stage in their lives. Exactly, yeah, well, <laughs> all through your life, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, the but process of a one-man show, we, we had the brilliant Don Witchley on yesterday. I was just thinking about that, yeah. He's touring a one-man show. Um, you said, you, you know, you, you brush past the fact that it's only an hour long. That's a big learn. It's a, it's a big learn, and there, there's a, it zips along at a at a, at a pretty fast pace as well. Um, and there's nowhere to hide. There's I nowhere think. to hide. No, and it's funny, you know, kind of when you know, yourself, you, you know, um, when you're part of a cast, you know, you have to rely on everybody. You have to trust everybody else yeah, to yeah. to uh, to look after you and to do mm. their own part as well. You know, if you you're a family, aren't you? There's a real yeah, sense of, course, of trust of course, amongst yeah. you. Um, but you don't have that when you're going no. solo. Don't have it. No. Uh, so you kind of have to. Uh, put all of the, that trust and stuff in myself that I will save myself if I mess up, that, yeah, I, will, yeah. that I won't mess up in the first place. Um, and obviously that's just a lot of prep. You know, you, you know um, we rehearsed for a very long time, myself and Amelia, Amelia Stewart, who, uh, who plays Katie in Fair City with me. Who played um, Mary in The Snapper. Played yes, Mary in The Snapper, yep. of course, yep. um, yes. Morning, uh, Amy. Directed and we, we get on great. We, we work really well together anyway. Um, and we'd known each other before we started in Fair City, but... Uh, we had a very similar idea of what we wanted to do with this character, so we didn't start from a million miles away from each other. So, mm. did the script change, Dahi, from day one of rehearsal? Did you adjust, adapt, change? Yeah, I, mean, I won't say a lot. Obviously, uh, yeah, Ken, yeah. Ken Rogan, uh, who wrote it, this is his debut play as well, which is you yeah, know yeah. phenomenal achievements. Um, all we did was tweaked. polished, polished and tweaked, and maybe slightly changed some of the order of the sections, you know, um, just for the flow of it. Uh, 
more so than anything else. Uh, but uh, like I said, yeah, we had we had very similar ideas of what we wanted to achieve with achieve it. with us. Yeah, I'm looking at your your tour dates. I mean, it's it's like a kind of a rock and roll tour. The states, everywhere. You've <laughs> been on the road since the 27th. You've been on the road for a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And then you're hitting uh, Moat this Thursday. This Thursday. Then you're in yeah. Newbridge, Donegal, Listowel. Carnegie Arts and the Ken Mayor, you're in the mm -hmm. Chalk Hammer and Arts and the Kerry, you're in Dundalk, and then you arrive back in Bugis. That's that's a roast of a run, my <laughs> yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, we've uh, this is the second leg of it as well now, so we've already been uh, Galway, Limerick, Cavan, Cork, <laughs> everywhere. Oh, so it's but it's you know it's brilliant to be out in the road and bringing it to, to new, uh, new. Does it change well. every night in terms of the audience? It, yeah, it, ha it has with, to, with to necessarily. Does, yeah, it has to necessarily change a little bit um, because it is only me. I have to be able to read the audience as well, you know. Um, yeah. And, and when you're reading the audience, what are you tweaking? Um, you know, kind of, you can always get, there's always an energy you get from an audience, mm. you know. A lot of people maybe don't realise or recognise that the audience is a really important part in the show, mm. you know. You have to, there has to be a, a relationship there. Mm. Um, and in the first kind of couple of minutes, you can feel what they're warming to, what they're not. Um, so sometimes, yeah, I push a little bit more some of the comedy aspects of it. Sometimes I go a little bit harder on the more serious, threatening side of it. Mm. Um, but it's always okay. to get them to the same place at but the end. But that's such you know? an art in itself to gauge that, isn't it? Well, that's part you of know, the art. Just that's be in mm. tune with yeah. the audience part and, of the and job, tweak it yeah. almost yeah. as you go. I, I have a load of freedom in the show to do that though as yeah. well. Obviously because it's only me, but then it's it's a lot of fun, but it's quite serious at times as well. So it's there's places where I can do that. Okay. You know? Can we ask about Fair City? Um, you can. I know you're probably not allowed to say a whole lot, <laughs> but <laughs> what can you tell us? Well, can I tell? Well, uh, unfortunately, very little. Um, you know, obviously, as we all say, as we have to say, anyway, they don't tell us anything um, because which we, we I'm can't actually know. starting to believe. <laughs> but, yeah, well, you should do because they don't. I mean, the only thing that we know is the couple of weeks ahead in, in the script that we've already shot. Yes. Um, and up to that, obviously, I can't tell you anything that's happening. But but the, the reason they don't tell you is because agents like us, I ask you every time you're on television, oh, no, it's it's driving, driving mad. Yeah. But yeah. it's also, I mean, of course, because uh, because of the nature of it, obviously. He's popular. had a great storyline, though, hasn't he? Oh, incredible, yeah. I mean, mad, but yeah. but brilliant, you know. I don't know what they're what they're drinking or smoking up in Fair City, but it's working, yeah. you know. Um, uh, Emmett has gone through, he's, he's been through the mill, you know, since he, since he came in three yeah. years ago. Um, and initially, I, I obviously, I didn't even know where the character was going to, to begin yeah. with. Um, I just thought he was going to be uh, drinking, fighting, and and uh, pursuing ladies for for yeah. his time there. Um, and boy, that did it very, take a turn! Very quickly, <laughs> he segued off somewhere yeah. else. But uh, uh, it's been an incredible um, journey, and not over. No. But we don't know where it's going to go. And in terms of working on that mm -hmm. and doing something like Hero. I mean, are they talking cheese in terms of in camera and working with uh, the camera? I mean, uh, yes and no. Uh, you know, it obviously it all comes from the same place. You know, you're, yeah. you're creating a character, you're um, you're trying to tell a story, which is the, <clears> the <throat> fundamental part of it. But uh, I think, I mean, theatre was always my first love, and that's where most of my experience is from. Yes. Um, so when I get back to it, it's kind of like home again. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's kind of like. Um, I know where I am now, because uh, camera work, and particularly on Fair City, is so fast. You know? I was just about to say, I'm absolutely fascinated. Any time I've been behind the scenes of the likes of Corrie and Emmerdale, yeah. there's not a whole lot of uh, room for mistakes, there's is there? Way. It's just can one do, scene Can I do it again? No, you can't. No, We're moving no, on. No, yeah. no. It's very punchy. I, I mean, we, I mean the, the, the right director at the right time, if everything's going well, will always give you extra takes, yeah. you know? Um, but that's why we have to be so prepared. Yes. You know, um, we, we have our script readings, we, uh, we get our scripts in advance. We have to do our homework, so our day isn't, you know, nine to five. You know, our day is like nine to midnight, Monday to Sunday. You know, we're always constantly going through our, our storyline and our and our uh, lines in our head, uh, yeah. making our own decisions. Because when you get onto the floor, the director has only so much time to to work with you. Yeah. Uh, so we have to come up with really strong ideas of what we have to do with our character and yeah. for our character in the scene. Mm -hmm. um, and if if it if it doesn't go right, you have to get a, Better You're chasing time. it down for the rest of the day, aren't you? you? Know? Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, the best of luck with the tour. Thank you so um, much. Give Amelia a big hug. I will, yes. Um, and for a full list of locations, see Dahi in Hero, you can check out facebook.com forward slash Lake Damon Theatre Company. Dahi, thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you, Thank you so Dahi. Up next, more 90s plaid trends over on the catwalk. See you soon.